Greetings, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Music Match Play. It is your Anak Peter Mata, and I am joined here by another Rama co-hosting today, Miss uh, Victoria Hannah Rama, uh, Ryan's sister, Miss TikTok. Y'all remember from a few episodes ago, Hannah, what's up? How's it going? Going good. I'm going excited good. to be here. All right. You, you feeling okay about this co-hosting gig? Better yeah. than being a special guest? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to channel Ryan's energy today. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, he's got a, he exudes a special energy. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I could reach that level, but I'll try. Yeah. Usually it's like five claws in. Um, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> you know, you're going to have to, you know, catch up with him on that. But uh, as you can see here, as always, we have a special guest. <sighs> Another one of our knocks. And we just keep going down that list. Uh, our, our special uh, guest uh, is a new part of the f- family, I guess you would say, the UC family we're introducing, Miss Angelica UC. Welcome to the show. What's up? Here. How are you? What is up? I'm so excited to be here. I've been waiting. You yeah. know, we're, we're at the bottom of the food chain in this uh, family being the youngest. <laughs> That's true. So I'm ready. I'm ready yeah. to take it on. I mean, you're probably okay. used to that because your last name starts with a U. So you usually, you know, exactly. I mean, you probably we should have reversed it. We probably should have started with the youngest first this time. Just, you know, you know, get you, get you going <laughs> that saved. way. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah, you. So great, but, uh, you know, <laughs> we already started. It is what it is. Um, have you been following the show at all? The channel? Okay. You know what? I, ha- I haven't watched them f- fully through sorry about that but same, same. you know okay. here and there i got a little peep peep i got a support you know yeah. a, little uh, peep, peep. <laughs> a little peep peep but um you guys are doing a great job so proud of you like oh. and the setup and how professional everything is and oh, wow i mean i don't really know anything about sports so you guys really help me um where were your the, your guides for sports? Yeah, with the pointers. Yeah, in, in golf because of course you play golf. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, no, that's more yeah, my my serious corner of the channel. You know, my serious yeah. face. This is where I, I let my hair down. You know, here. Oh, in the podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're we're happy to to have you. Is there any other YouTube channels or podcasts that you normally listen to other than the Inox? Not specifically, you know, I've been really trying to cut down on YouTube because I'll go down like a rabbit hole of like makeup t- tutorials or like <laughs> something vlogs like, random. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, nothing in particular, nothing but particular. mainly the Knox. Okay. I'm here for you guys. That's it. That's just we are your main like that's your only subscription on YouTube on that left sidebar. That's it. You don't have any other subscriptions you want to give a <laughs> shout out to. I mean, I do, but no one like significant that I'm. Oh, okay. You know? They're just like whatever. They're yeah. just side side channels, right? You know? They're not yeah, the yeah, main right. channel. Okay, exactly. I, I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I do know that. Were you? Did you have a YouTube channel, or you were trying to do a makeup YouTube channel? I don't know. I I remember saying something. Peter, what a makeup <laughs> channel? Who do you think we are? Is, it was a on the download. Channel. It was a girls channel, it okay. Girls channel. Okay. It was a sprinkles fourteen four eighteen. Okay. <laughs> Enlighten me. I mean, I didn't see. This is what I had to go on. a little bit. We tried to do, I don't know, some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Thinking about it, Peter, we we started this game in this family. We started we really the vlog game. We had like five subscribers. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> We pretty were much all, all the girl knocks pretty much <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you guys well, really uh took it off though so you well us. look i mean that's how it goes you know there's myspace and then there was facebook that really exploded so you know <laughs> absolutely. it's not it's not being first it's doing it better so. absolutely i applaud you for that well i mean hannah miss tiktok here is kind of she's got her little little you know corner i'm passing the torch yeah. to kyle though Oh. I think Kyle's really taken off right now. Well, shout out to Kyle Johnson, who's yet to be on the channel. We bow down. 
yeah. to the um, influencer. He's got like a, a million on TikTok. I saw on his. I think he put yeah, it on it's another. A social. lot of views. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess people like the one minute content. I mean, I don't understand. We have like 90, mm-hmm. 90 one minute content all in you know consecutive row here. I don't know why they can't. They can't focus they can't for that long, so it's like. I mean, just watch it for ninety minutes. I don't know what's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, but yeah, you know, this is a music podcast, Angelica. What are you listening to? Who are you listening to? Underground Ooh, ones. Not gonna lie, your um, subscribers are probably gonna come for me, but I'm very mainstream. Okay, I like a little bit of everything though. Mm-hmm. Um, to dabble mm-hmm. in the country. Mm-hmm. Oh, not, yeah. to, not to name yeah. any names, I guess, you know? <laughs> yeah, I can't. Okay, well, I obviously love, like, the weekend. Like, if I had to really pinpoint what I listen to, it's definitely, like, mainstream pop. Uh, don't come for me. Don't come for I don't, me. I'm we not going to say the B word. Like, it's not. so good. Yeah, it is That's so good. That's why it's mainstream, you know? Right. Like, okay, thank you. That makes me feel better. Yeah. There's but, no uh, judgmental part in this you know area over here at least coming from me i don't know hannah might be judging you no i mean (laughs) i grew up listening to music with angelica so like our music taste is probably really similar Mm -hmm. yeah i mean we went through like our joe bros phase and like one direction (laughs) yeah yeah oh yeah yeah i mean look they're they're mainstream like you said for a reason they're catchy songs i mean i'd look i usually when people ask what my music taste is like i i'm unashamedly say i'm a basic bitch you know i, I listen to yeah. whatever you know you gotta so, own it you know you know it's like yeah. what, what's the problem being basic you know yeah that's fine right? we're sticking with the basics you know? <laughs> yeah. uh but yeah you know so it's great to to get to know you uh anything else do you have anything else hannah before we jump into the to the rules that you want to you know y'all are bestie mm-hmm. anox honestly like y'all are like basically sisters she is my bestie so <laughs> any, anything okay. you want to ask her that like you've never asked her before that you want to make public whoa <laughs> peter's gonna get the juice no what have i not asked you that's a good question huh i don't even know what i haven't asked you i feel like we just know everything already okay yeah okay. is this your first podcast doing anything like this it is oh it is peter okay so it's a new experience glad to uh break that glass ceiling uh so this is our second one where we have you know women outweighing the men here two out of three i know jana mentioned something about that last episode yeah you know we're gonna get a female artist to the top today i feel i have a feeling we'll see i mean we got some strong male artists in there i'm about to show that list It's, it's about split down the middle so Okay. I'm going to do my best. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to pick the best song, but, you know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not going to be biased just because I'm the guy, but I'm just saying, you know, respect the, the guy side. They have some solid songs over there. Yeah. We'll, we'll judge fair. We'll judge okay. fair. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> well, uh, I guess uh, if you're all ready, I guess I'll get into the rules of the game. I mean, it's, in the description below, if you're watching this, you're probably a regular, but you know, you get those, you know, people that first time watchers here and there. So might as well vocalize it. You know, if you're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to this, it is there in the description, but I will vocalize it right now. In this mu- oh, it was it podcast, game show podcast, I guess is what we call this thing. We Basically, gather random songs from different genres, eight songs in this case, and we randomly see them into a bracket where one song is versus another. We then go in and decide which song advances until there is a a winning song for the episode. The winning song of the episode gets to be played in full to end the episode. Of course, do not skip to the end, as someone usually says, co-host usually says something about that. Oh, what does he usually say? He says, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, exactly. We have to keep the tradition. You know, like you said, yeah. we got to keep Ryan's uh, thing in here. He's a busy man. We got to at least keep some element yeah. of, of his spirit in here. Yeah. So uh, anyways, I think we're ready to see that uh, that song list. We got a delicious menu for, for you today, Angelica. You know, it's not quite the goat list that we had last time, but it is quite uh, 
palatable, uh, quite consumable, whatever you want to say, as you can see Ooh, here. Very juicy. Mm-hmm. Very juicy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The chef has cooked something special for you today. We have wow. two wild card genres. I always forget to mention this. We have New Wave. Uh, for those who don't know what New Wave is, that's kind of like, kind of like the genesis of pop in the early mm-hmm. 80s, okay. late 70s. So yeah, I think uh, that song there. Uh, pretty much exemplifies what that is and we have k-pop back i'm sure mm-hmm. Hannah is we love that. k-pop yeah <laughs> i might look that's a that is a male artist male artist artiste so uh you know don't don't be afraid to vote for them you know i put them on the list for a reason <laughs> <laughs> but anyways as we do here we put this little random formula in get that random number and then we just uh shuffle it a few times you know Get a nice random shuffle. Like we're we're at a casino. Like I'm a croupier, and we pretty much get that nice shuffle, and we move over to this beautiful bracket. Oh, mm, okay, okay. I like that. this. Okay, you can feel that. Mm-hmm. You feel that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna get <laughs> right into it then. With that that K-pop song looks like is in our uh-huh. first first song, first matchup. K-pop versus what is that? Classic. So Love Scenario by Icon. Is that am I pronouncing that right, Hannah? Um I think so. I honestly don't know. I can't tell you. Or is it like A K O N? I should like pronounce it. I think it's Icon. That would make sense, right? Icon. I think so. So it's Love Scenario by Icon versus Baby I Love You by Aretha Franklin. So K-pop versus classic. Let's get right into it. Woo! Let's do it. (sighs) Yeah, for you at home, listen to it. Let's go. This is Love Scenario by Icon. That was Love Scenario by Icon. This 2018 K-pop song was Icon's lead single for their second studio album, Return. It peaked at number one in South Korea, and it won Song of the Year at the 2018 Melon Music Awards and the 33rd Golden Disc Awards. With that, it is indeed recognized as one of Icon's signature songs, uh, group leader and songwriter, B.I., I think he's he's probably one of those that you can see on the screen. He said that uh, he was inspired to write the song after watching the movie La La Land. So uh, you didn't know that. Now you know. Wow. La La Land. Yeah. You remember that one, 2016? I love La La Land. Yeah. You mentioned in it in uh, top five movies in the last five years. That was a podcast mm-hmm. from last year or so. Mm-hmm. Just check that one out, by the way. Simple plug, quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was that song. It is versus the classic Baby I Love You by Aretha Franklin. I guess we'll just get right into it. Here it is. <laughs>
Mm-mm-mm. Gotta put some respect on that. That was uh, Baby I Love You by Aretha Franklin. If you didn't see what I did there, one of her songs is Name Respect. Yes. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this 1967 classic soul song was the only single release in Aretha's Aretha Rives album. It was a major hit, as you can see. It peaked at number four on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and number one on the U.S. Hot R&B and Hip Hop Songs Billboard. Uh, it's been used uh, it's and covered in several places across pop culture. However, I do distinctly remember Martin Scorsese using it in the 1990 film Goodfellas. I don't know if you all have watched that, but I do remember that scene it being used there. So that's our two songs for this first matchup. Love Scenario by Icon, K-pop versus Ooh. Baby I Love You, Aretha Franklin, classic, classic, classic. So I'll stop share here. If you don't know, uh, Angelica, what we do here is we set the timer for 90 seconds and you have to respond in that time. So that being said, set the tone for us, please. All right. Okay. So Icon, first time hearing, I guess, the group. But K-pop always does, you know, visuals, choreography, everything. They always kill it. And the song was really good. Mm, Aretha, sure. you know, classic. Mm. Um, she made me want to, like, sway back and forth. I mean, so did I- Icon, but in a different way. Mm. Hmm. You know, I'm going to go with icon just because i've never heard this really uh the baby i love you song wow i don't know if it's like because of I'm my surprised. age so you're yeah. going with icon because you I'm... haven't heard aretha franklin this song. specific song okay. but then the i i feel like i have to go with my kind of generation and like this okay. i would probably lean more towards this song um if i was to listen to oh, them aretha. on like the drive i know i know queen of soul aretha i know aretha. but we're going based on the songs you know so i was like i, I had to pick are we though i mean i've told guests you know they can go by objective yeah or just go it's by up what to you feeling. yeah so. oh okay see i didn't know that it's up to you i mean you still got four seconds three seconds Ooh. okay aretha Oh, wait, Franklin, wait, wait. Miss Franklin, oh Miss Franklin. I thought we were just going. I thought we were just going at uh, uh, song versus song. I didn't know it's artist on, by artist. It's up to you. It's up to you how you want to judge it. Final answer well, right case, now. I'm going right now. Okay, Aretha. Yeah, Aretha, all the way. Aretha. Okay, then. All right. All right. Sorry, do you, sorry. Do you want me to go, Hannah, next, or do you want to go? Ah, uh, you can go. Doesn't okay. matter. I'll go. Let's let's break this out. Uh, I haven't heard. The icon song but i put it on the list i looked up who is the most popular you know bands on you know k-pop's world and uh they came up hmm. you know bts obviously <laughs> so I, was, I was out there uh what was the other black pink i think was is that oh, of course yeah i think those yeah. two are the i think i played them in previous episodes so i i, I gave icon a, a shout here you know and uh I think Quinn was dancing to this on a uh, Dance Dance Revolution in an arcade. So there's a little memory tied to it. I I haven't heard it before then. And, you know, it's got some sway to it. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You know, I mean, you almost picked it, Angelica. I did. And I can see why, you know. And actually, I read somewhere that uh, they they almost had to stop preschoolers or something from singing because it's such a, you know, catchy tune and whatnot. Uh, that's so, awesome. You know, it just stopped them. That song. We're like, we great. can't. We yeah. can't stop moving. Yeah, exactly. They're like, stop it. We uh, we're trying it. to. We're trying to learn our ABCs here. So, uh, <laughs> uh, as for the Aretha song, I do remember it specifically from Goodfellas and that scene there. Great song. Like you said, it's got some attitude to it, right? You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could feel that Aretha. You know, really putting her lungs in. I can't get the video for it. Unfortunately, there's no video of her singing it, but. I mean, even just the lyrics is good enough. But either way, I think I'm going to go with Icon here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with K-pop. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, it's split. Yeah. Oh, I, I think that one just that one just sticks with me a little wow. bit more. Okay. Right now. I mean, I That's might pick it later. 
<laughs> you might do the switcheroo like me. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, but I'm going to go with Icon right now. So Hannah. Okay, this is tough. What can I say? Mm. Icon. Not going to lie, that song is in my K-pop playlist. Okay. It's in there. I don't know any. Band. It should be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know any other song by them, but that one was catchy. Some fan you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, Aretha, on the other hand, like I love her. Obviously, she's an icon. Um, I feel like her song just makes you feel like you're being hugged by mm. an older woman. <laughs> Really? Okay. It's We're going to take it that comfort. <laughs> Yeah, comfort. Okay. Icon, like, I could play it in the background, but I don't know if I'd say it's better than Aretha's song. Okay. So okay. I'm going to go with Aretha's song. Oh. We're pushing her forward. Okay. Yeah. Trying Sorry. I know I'm the K pop Anak, but. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If it was a different I mean, K-pop song, maybe. Some favor I did for you putting K-pop here. I had other <laughs> genres. <laughs> but, Damn it. Uh, that's okay. You know, we'll put them on. They'll be on the list again. Did it under time, too. Look at that. You're better than your brother. What? Don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to. Ryan's quivering right now. No one's listening to this. He's definitely not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you, Anak Ryan. No, no, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> uh, so, uh. Anyway, let's get to that bracket again. Aretha, bear my hair, my hair. I would say, you know? yeah, I'd say, I'd say, yeah. I, uh, I mean, you almost you almost changed your your thoughts there, Angelica. You yeah. know, I'm not really a K-pop girl, but that song was. Hmm. I'm into it. Right. I might have to look at it later. Yeah, put it in your playlist. Don't be shy. Yeah. You know? I'll send you my K-pop playlist. Exactly. <laughs> Even you better. Share amongst yourselves. <laughs> uh, so that was the first matchup. Second matchup, we have looks like what? Alternative rock versus country. Ooh, it's a couple <laughs> 90s, 90s battle here. We got Ooh. You Ought to Know by Alanis Morissette versus Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Peter, mm. you're doing something with this. You're doing yeah. something. I, I think I've got, uh, I've got something here in the show. You know, uh, let's see. So what do we got? We got Alanis, classic Alanis. You ought to know, alternative rock. So you ought to know, Alanis Morissette, here that is. I want you to know that I'm happy for you. Like I said, classic Alanis there. Let's see. This 1995 alternative rock song was the lead single from Alanis's third studio album, Jagged a Little Pill. If I pronounce that right. It uh, signaled her departure from bubblegum pop to alternative rock, and it outperformed the label's expectations. Hmm. It peaked at number six on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. And number one. On the U.S. Alternative Airplay billboard at the Grammys, it received three nominations, and it won two of them for the Best Rock Song and Best Female Rock Vocal Performance. Whoa. So this is 
this is accoladed, you know, low key. Yeah, that's a lot. You you ought to know. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it ironic? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Those are the two songs I know by Alanis. So uh <laughs> let's see. It's versus the country song. Can country do something this episode? We got a nice classic <laughs> one here. Achy breaky heart. Billy Ray Cyrus. Come on. Come on, people. Here that is. <clears throat> stop this madness before we break out in line dance Nasty, over here man yeah so that is a country that was achy breaky heart billy ray cyrus this 1992 country song was from billy ray cyrus's debut studio album some gave all is that it? some gave all interesting it was also his debut single and his signature one at at that uh the music video there led to an explosion of the line dance into the mainstream. <laughs> it uh, peaked at number four on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and number one on the U.S. Hot Country Song Billboard, as well as in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. So Billy Ray caught some some hearts over there. Uh, <laughs> while he got all these nice accolades, uh, it's also considered by some as one of the worst, or some even said one of the most awesomely bad songs ever. What are they even talking about? Right. What are those? I don't get it, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's on our list in this game. So we got You Ought to Know by Alanis Morissette versus A Can Break Your Heart. Alternative Rock V Country. I think it is me who goes first. Yeah, we rotate here just so you know, Angelica. I don't know if you know, but we rotate. So it's my turn. Woo. 90 seconds. Ooh. So I'll start with the first song that was played, Alanis. The two songs I know about her is You Ought to Know and uh, Ironic. I was kind of debating which one to put on. I I like both of them. Uh, Honestly, it's one of those songs that uh, low-key, I'd probably sing in the car if I'm by myself. Um, If it's just like on the radio. Now, I wouldn't wouldn't purposely put it on. Come on. (laughs) Come on, guys. (laughs) Let's be be serious. I'm just, you know, if it's on the radio, sure, I'll sing it. And uh, I mean, it's got an attitude it, to it. I mean, I I don't know any of her songs before then. It, like I said, it transitioned from her time as a bubble gum pop artist. I'm kind of interested now to hear her songs then. But uh, this one, uh, she's got a distinct style uh, with her with her singing here, and the same thing with uh, and ironic. So you know, I gotta I tip my hat to that one. Uh, to talk about Billy Ray Cyrus, I mean, this was his biggest song. Until he did, you know, was that Old Time Road? He was in, uh, involved in that one, and that one eventually became a little bigger. Uh, but this one, this was his right here. This is what what started it off. This was probably what started Hannah Montana. It really, you know, <laughs> I don't know about that, but you know, he. This is a song that you know you play in uh, you know parties, especially Filipino parties. Like the moms mm-hmm. will definitely get up and dance. He does. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, with that being said. I uh, my time had just ran out. I think I'm gonna go with Billy Ray Cyrus. Okay. Yeah, uh, I just like it. I mean, we only played a minute there. That's because it will have gone on and on. But I kind of want to, kind of want to keep listening to it. Just be yes, honest with you. Good, as you should. Yeah. So uh, that's my vote. Hannah, thoughts, okay. questions, concerns. Mm-hmm. Mm, to be completely honest, I'm not that familiar with Alanis. Mm. I think. That's probably the only song I've ever heard from her. Really? And even then, it's like I only I've only heard the chorus. 
So, like, with that being said, I'm going to go with Achy Breaky Heart, because that just, you Gasp. can't beat that. You, you can't? Can. You can't. I mean, in this round, you can't beat that. Okay. I was about to say, you're about to bring it all away with you. You're about Not, to put it in your pocket, mm. <laughs> run it to the goal line. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen all the songs yet. This much but. is true. Do you know the line dance to it? In eighth grade, or I don't know when, but sometime in middle school, they made us learn it. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. What school is this? Our school? Oh, they made us get in a line and do that. So, <laughs> you break it hard. Kind of low key would like to learn it you know, that'd been cool you know <laughs> but whatever next family party we'll all learn it together we'll all learn it together right. especially if it wins this this episode <laughs> we have to so good job again hannah look at you angelica your words are words but we're interested in them <laughs> okay great points being said you know first song auto what is it auto no you ought to know it. You uh-huh. ought to know. Sorry, yeah. I ought to know. Yeah. A great moody song, mm. you know. Sure. It Good way to describe gave it. gave me a vibe. I felt, love the music video. Mm. Maybe feel a certain type of way. And I think that's what music does, like good music does. But, you know, how, can, how could you do this to us? Achy, breaky heart? Come on music match play is what happens yeah i'm gonna have to go with billy ray you know he was the foundation for hannah montana Mm -hmm. as well i owe him my childhood yeah yeah pay your homage yeah (laughs) (laughs) no but also a great song to all those people that were saying it wasn't it's not a good song it's a great song what does that even mean if it's like awesomely bad yeah. I think it's just cheesy. Make it good. I think oh, it's okay. cheesy for most people. That's probably what I would that's how what I would assess it. You know, I'm no music expert, but I'm gonna read between the lines and that's what they're trying to say. So I don't get it either. I mean, I think it's catchy. Like we've said, we established this in the beginning. If it's catchy, it's mainstream, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, mm-hmm. that's why it's on the radio. So good job there, Angelica. Achy breaky heart with the sweep. Sweep. <sighs> Okay. I mean, we're Filipino. Yeah, Obviously. Exactly. You know, we'll be dancing to this our whole lives. At, at party. <laughs> <laughs> so Billy Ray Cyrus, let's go. Oof. Put it in our pocket and take it to the goal line. <laughs> Highlight that. Cross out. You ought to know. I guess we don't know about that one. Oh, well. Next time, Alanis. Maybe ironic. We'll win it next time. Yeah, that would be ironic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i gotta make my jokes you know I, they're in the script you know it is what it is so anyway that was our second matchup on to our third we have uh super bass by Nicki minaj versus fly away by lenny kravitz so that's rap versus rock mm, this one's tasty i can i can taste this one already mm-hmm. let's uh, let's get to Nicki minaj super bass here that is Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Super bass, superb ass, super what? Super bass by uh, <laughs> Minaj. What happened? Uh, that was a, a rap song for the day. This 2011 bouncy bubblegum rap song was from Nikki's debut studio album, Pink Friday. It uh, received positive reviews for its unique combination of uh, electronic influences and uh, Nikki's rap lyrics uh, as it you know went with that beat. Uh, in terms of the charts, it peaked at number three on the U.S. Billboard Hot, Hot 100, number two on the U.S. Hot Raps Songs Billboard, and number one on the U.S. Rhythmic Billboard. Uh, that uh, provocative video we just watched won the uh, best video hip or best hip hop video at the MTV Awards that year. So, a little accoladed, you know, threw that in there, just whatever. Uh, so that was Super Bass, a rap song by Nick Minaj versus a rock song, Fly Away by Lenny Kravitz. Take us away. you want to fly away so apropos so i was fly away by lenny kravitz this 1998 rock song was from lenny's fifth studio album five uh it peaked at number 12 on the u.s billboard hot 100 and number one on the uk singles chart as well as number one on the u.s alternative airplay billboard and the u.s mainstream rock billboard uh the song helped lenny garner his first of Four consecutive wins at the Grammys for Best Male Rock Performance. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Will it win here versus Super Bass? Rap versus Rock? We'll see. Stop share here. Is it? I think it's you. My turn. Yeah. Yeah, It's Hannah's uh, turn. It's Hannah's turn. BT. Uh All righty, Hannah. Timer (laughs) set. Thoughts, questions? This one's a tough one. Is it? Because on one hand, you have Nikki, she's iconic and super bass. The other hand. You know, she really mm-hmm. gave what she needed to give. Like, I remember in eighth grade, eighth standing grade. outside with a bunch of other girls, and we were like, Do you know super bass? And then we'd try to see if we knew all the lyrics. You were like, Hell yeah, I know. We we're like, Yeah. This one is for the boys with the booming system. <laughs> Top down AC with the coolest system. <laughs> These and they're are all like, you had, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then on the other hand, Lenny, that was a banger. That's a solid yeah. banger. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm not familiar with a lot of his songs, but I know that song and I know American Woman. Yeah. And those mm-hmm. are both solid bangers. His songs. They like make you want to go out and party with your friends, you know? Sure. Rage yeah. a little. Some say that, yeah. Rage a little. But let me... Super bass. Does that yeah, not you know, make you want to rage in a different way? Yeah. With the girl. I think I'm going to have to go with super bass still. Because okay. that is like close to my heart. Nostalgia. My little eighth grade heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard Fly Away before? You've yeah. Heard before. Okay. Okay. That's fair enough. Right under time. You had like five seconds left. I, I feel that. Hey. Hey, I get it. Angelica, do you get it as well? You know what? I get it. I get it. Okay. See, I'm even younger than Hannah. So 
growing up, this was low-key my anthem. Fly or, away, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not really. I was. <laughs> yeah. Were you out there singing fly away to other girls? Yeah. Maybe not. No, super bass really. Um, it's like one of the only rap songs, right? Rap songs that I can like low-key sing word for word. Really? Yeah. I don't really know what she's saying, but you, that's impressive. Oh, we all I do, know. Peter. All yeah. the girls know. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is news I mean, me. Lenny, he's a great, his vibes, like his whole aesthetic is just so cool guy, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, And his song, like, I know that song too. And um, the other one that Hannah said. American Woman. Yeah. But... I guess just again, it's not my generation thing. I would listen to the, his uh, songs, but definitely Super Bass outweighs, man. Outweighs. I'm sorry. No, I yeah. don't need to apologize. Look, yeah. we're here not to make friendships or break. We're here to break friendships, really. But right, you know, you're not going to break one on this one, I don't think. Right under time <laughs> here. Uh, so Super Bass for you, you guys. Uh, my words are just words. I think this was a strategy for you guys on this one. I'll start my timer anyway. Um, since it's lost already, I will say when I did my rehearsal with Quinn, uh, was it Fly Away actually won. So yeah. I guess we're just going to let it fly away on this one. <laughs> oh, Peter, you were just, you're too much with your puns. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, but I love, I mean, it's a song that melts your face off. I'm talking about uh, Fly Away. I mean, that's that's like the initial like I've heard it before, but then when I researched it a little bit more and put it in the list here and re reheard it again, it that's like my first impression. Like it literally like it's a song that melts your face off. It rocks so so hard, and I try to listen more to other Lenny Kravitz songs just to uh, you know form my opinion better today. Um, I don't really like other <laughs> his other songs other than American Woman. American Woman does rock pretty hard, but that's honestly that's just a cover of another song someone else wrote uh he's oh. singing it well oh my god so. i didn't even know that i didn't even know that either yeah so uh i mean so this is the only original song that i like from him <laughs> or a uh, super bass uh Nicki minaj yeah i mean this is like her first like like her own thing like she was like kind of a supporting role and a lot of her songs early on but this like her whole album here especially with super bass it was the first time she was on air herself. I think I would probably Come on, go with her. Peter. I think I would go with her on this one. I'm mean, I just yes. like I'm vibing with that one. Good I like choice. Flyway, but I think right in this mood, I'm feeling super bass. Yes. So it's a sweep. It's a sweep for us That's on this sweet. one. Nikki Minaj. <laughs> it's it's only right that we put Nikki in here. I put Cardi B uh, in the last episode. I probably should have put Nikki. Right. Here. Well. You know, she's in it Need now. She night. might go all the way. She might go all the way. So. Ooh, ooh, this next one looks oh, delicious. Okay. Wait, this one's okay. a good. Oh, Hannah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> this is all right. I guess we'll move on to this fourth matchup. In the first round, our last matchup of the first round, Toxic by Britney Spears. She's been in the news lately. Uh, and Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. So this is pop versus new wave. So this is like it's like the father of pop versus the you pop. Yeah. So let's get into that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Toxic by Britney Spears. Let's get into that one. Here that is. Baby, can't you see I'm calling A guy like you should wear a warning It's dangerous, I'm falling There's no escape, I can't wait I need a hit, baby, give me it You're dangerous, I'm falling Oh, 
Mm, 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 mm. That was Toxic by Britney Spears. This 2004 exotic pop song was from Britney's fourth studio album, In the Zone. It was met with widespread critical acclaim for its catchy hook and chorus. Uh, While it only peaked at number nine on the U.S. Billboard, Billboard Hot 100, it did reach number one in several charts and countries. At the 47th annual Grammy Awards, it won Britney her first Grammy for Best Dance Recording. So I, I'm not sure what dance recording, I guess. Is that the video? I guess. Either way, it won her first Grammy. This song. Didn't know that till now. Pretty interesting. So that was our pop song. And it's versus New Wave, Duran Duran. Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. Here that is. <laughs> So that was uh, Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. This 1982 new wave song was Duran Duran's fifth single in the UK. It peaked at number three on the US Billboard Hot 100 and number one in Canada, as well as the US Billboard Top Rock tracks. Uh, It initially struggled to break through into US markets until MTV uh, placed the video we just watched uh, into heavy rotation. Uh, that video was filmed in the jungle of Sri Lanka uh, and was trying to invoke a uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark atmosphere motif. I honestly, from watching it, couldn't tell until I read that fact. So <laughs> uh, interesting stuff there. So it's Pop versus New Wave, Toxic by Britney Spears versus Hungry Like a Wolf by Duran Duran. Stop share here, I believe. Angelica, it's back to you first go around Boop. i mean damn that's all i can really say peter um i don't i have no idea can you hear me yeah i hear you i'm sorry okay i, I heard sorry. You, you said I was like well you're good the timer's <laughs> um, on. what's the problem oh, man you really you really twisting my arms here man i Brittany. Britney, Britney, we love Britney. She's like a titan in terms of my growing up, for sure. Tito Jerry used to burn CDs for me, um, and he always included Britney Spears. So he really like set the bar. Tito Jerry, we call him Tito. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Tito Gerard. Okay. Yeah, sure. right. Tito G. But hungry like a wolf. I mean, I guess. I don't know any other songs from Duran Duran except, but that song is such a bop. You probably would know of them, but you don't know my name. There's a couple that. Oh, are, really? Are, yeah, there are a couple like I looked them up, but go ahead. Dang, that's you're great. You know, I'm still gonna push. I'm still pushing Britney. I I can't not like I grew up on her circus. You like, ugh. she's just too good. She's a titan to me. Okay. Yeah. Ten seconds. Britney, that's good. Okay. Yeah. I feel that. You're going to free Britney on this one, I guess. I am free. Yes, free Britney. Okay. All right. There's some good well, news on that today, if you saw that. I, yes, there was Ooh. news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, she got uh, what? Uh, her dad stepped away from the yeah. conservative ship or something, whatever it is. 
Mm-hmm. Wait, I that's guess. great news, right? Um, we'll see. I mean, if she can handle her stuff, she can handle her stuff. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know about her mental capacity. Uh, we'll see about that. But <laughs> in terms of her music, uh, she is a titan of pop music in the past 20 years. I will agree to that saying. Um, this is the first song for her that like after. So we everyone knows her first two like. Was it um, Hit Me Baby One More Time? Oops, I did it again. But then every, like a few songs after that, you've heard them before, but they're kind of forgettable. This one's kind of like transitioning into her kind of, I guess, adult career. I mean, it, it, it has a touch of a different sound, uh, like kind of like Circus 3. But, like it's, it's more of that sound than her initial sound. And you know, I like it. I like it a lot. However, whoops, there I go. Where'd I go? Hit it, it hit it. I'm going to go with Duran Duran on this one. Ah. I just think Hungry Like a Wolf is just uh, its a little bit more distinct. It's a, just a touch more original than Toxic. I'm going to go song by song, uh, song versus song here. I think uh, mm-hmm. Hungry Like a Wolf is a little bit more distinct and a little bit more original than Toxic. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to go with Duran Duran. Uh, they do have a couple other songs that you don't know by name probably, but you know they, they matured well as mm, their career mm. went on so you want to sing one for us yeah. i know um, give us a little sample cat sing it. <laughs> come undone and ordinary world look those up people Actually will. You, you probably heard okay them, but yeah um, those are the no, names yeah. of it so we Hannah. respect the the choice this is tricky but I so like tricky. You said toxic that is a bop. That is like bad bitch energy. We love Britney. That's probably one of my favorite songs from her. That's really? like a song that I put on in my room and just like dance like mm. nobody's watching, you know? Mm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. But Duran Duran, that song gives me like garage band. Oh, wait, what is it called? Rock band vibes? What's that rock band? Uh. I don't know. You're right. Guitar hero. Guitar That's hero. what I think of. Oof. Also, I don't know. It just gives you some like nostalgia, even though we obviously didn't live through the eighties. It just gives you that feeling of, like I wish I lived through the eighties. <laughs> but I'm still gonna have to go with toxic. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I know. Go. Toxic. Britney, Britney, Britney. Britney it Britney. is on this matchup. <laughs> Still 20 seconds. Oh my. Yeah. I mean, I will say that da, na, 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 that's pretty original. Right? Mm, yeah. It makes you. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. There you go. It's almost like church music at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's blasphemous to say. I don't know. Ooh, we got three girls coming into this. Hannah. I'm trying my best, guys. <laughs> What can I Peter say? is quivering. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Billy Ray, can you hold up? I don't know. Annie. We'll see. Achy breaky it. heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get into that fifth matchup. Second round, we are. Final four. Yeah. yeah. Aretha Franklin, Baby I Love You versus Billy Ray Cyrus. Achy breaky heart. Was that classic versus, versus country? I think we get that matchup quite a bit. So uh, let's get into that. Uh, so this is. Uh, Baby, I Love You by Aretha Franklin. If you want my love, if you really do, don't be afraid, yeah, baby. Just ask me. And that was Baby I Love You by Aretha Franklin. Uh, classic hit by Aretha. Put respect on that for sure. Uh, and it's versus uh, our country song for today. 
Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. And here that is. <laughs> Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Mm, mm, mm. Makes me want to get in a line dance and just do it. Mm. <sighs> it's a, a doozy, at least in my eyes. I don't know. I think my eyes will get the first look on it since uh, first to go here. So Rita Franklin. I did like it. I didn't vote for it last time, but I did like it. Versus the awesomely bad song, apparently, to people. Uh, Achy Breaky Heart. Uh, so Aretha Franklin, like I've mentioned, I, I remember it from good, good fellas. I actually put this song in my playlist, uh, from, I, I watched good fellas the other day and I was like, you know, this song is pretty darn good. Let me look it up. And I was like, I'm gonna add it to my playlist. You know, I, I feel in this one, it's got some attitude to it. Like I said earlier, achy break your heart. Um, I don't usually dance, but if I get enough alcohol, if I get in the right song like this, come one, on, Peter. This one, uh, this one will might get me in that line dance, and I might might be breaking my achy breaky heart with Billy Ray here. Um, can I say it's a catchy song? Uh, it's the reason why it stands the test of time in parties, and why it just gets slapped on. People enjoy it. I mean, it's a, it, the vibes of it is good. Uh, I don't know necessarily the message, but the vibes of it is great. If you're pulling my arm, if you're twisting it, if you're doing whatever to my arm, I'm going to have to say, "Achy breaky art." (gasps) I went there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Achy breaky art for me. Yeah. I know. You're right. So Hannah. Ooh. Yikes! I voted for both of these songs last time, so yeah, this is hard. You get what you vote for. Um, yeah. Let's see. Aretha. <laughs> like I said, she gives comfort. Like, I want to listen to this, be, like, relaxed. But Achy Breaky Heart. I want to, like, get up and go, yee <laughs> You know? <laughs> Drop the boots on, you know? Get your saddle on, sure. Yeah. Mm, okay. Like, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Achy Breaky Heart too. Man, because I want to be like, ho down, throw down. She wants the boots. <laughs> yeah. She wants to strap them on. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't really like country that much, but achy, breaky heart just does it for me. You know? It does it for your achy, breaky heart. You yeah. Know, your, your, your heart's not achy, breaky. It's, it's solid. But, you know, yeah. it's a song that just does it for everyone, no matter if your heart is yeah. achy, breaky or not. Uh, Angelica, words are words. Yeah. but Words are words. Thoughts. You know what? I was going to go with Achy Breaky, so Sweep. Sweep. Wow. Sweepers. Oh, sweeper does it. Yeah. Sweeper does it. It's just too good. I feel like <laughs> like from a little baby till now, that song has just snuck its way into my life. You, you every, were dancing it in, in the womb? Yeah. In the womb. You know what? Even in the womb, probably. <laughs> Auntie Ellen was probably gigging, you know, <laughs> six you probably months to it while you were. Yeah. yeah you know what? Probably. Yeah, she was probably dancing to it. This was. I'm hit. just saying. So yeah, no respect to Aretha, no RAS. Sorry. Re- okay, yeah, always respect, of oh, course. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, we love her. Is that is respect your favorite song of Aretha since? We're- no, oh. wait. What's that other song? The Say a little prayer for you. Ooh, that one. Like is that song. One. Mm. That one's from uh, my best friend's wedding. Shout out to that. Up. 
<gasps> yeah, I like that movie. Look, I look, I'm a cultured man. I know things. <laughs> 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 so that's your favorite song from Rita. I think I'd go with this one, but if you break your heart, I'm, I mean, like I said, different moods in this game, you, you're going to pick some songs that you probably wouldn't pick elsewhere. So, um, Angelica, what is your favorite Aretha song? I guess, do you know? It's, uh, I think it is respect. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That one for sure. Would you sing that in karaoke? I would. You know what, you guys? We need to do karaoke more. Yes. We need to step up our game. On, I feel like that should be a good question to ask. What's your favorite karaoke song? So, it is. Mm. That's tough. There's a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Probably like I, a high school musical song. High school musical. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I usually say Eye of the Tiger. That's pretty basic. Yeah, but, I was going to say oh. Journey, Aerosmith. Yeah, something uh, something oh, Aerosmith. can actually sing. You know, I can't sing much. I'm the only, I, like I said in my first episode, I'm the, one of the few Filipinos who can't sing or dance. I like think mm, our whole cousins, it's like, who can sing? Nika, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a barren not list. If we can sing, it's are we willing to sing? Oh, yeah, we're willing. Remember De Colores? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I might have to slap a quick big Laris clip right there. <laughs> yeah, just insert a little, a little something for them. A little sample. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, was, that was a good time. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that was oh, no. the sixth matchup, second round. This is, we're going to six matchup. Ooh, last matchup of the second round. Goosebumps, man! I I tap out. Nikki versus Brittany. Oh, Super bass God. versus Toxic. Mm. I'm mm-hmm. I'm sweating. All right, let's get into it. Let's just rip the bandaid off. Come on. Right? So this is uh, a <laughs> Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. Here that is. And that was super bass by Nicki Minaj. Mm, mm -mm, Superb ass. What? Super bass. Yeah. Uh, For those of you who don't know what I'm I'm mentioning, if you look up Dave Scarlark and uh, Nicki Minaj, (laughs) there's a parody interview. Hilarious. At least that's my type of sense of humor. Hilarious. Look it up. Uh, Nicki Minaj plays great in that little sketch. But anyways, uh, moving on to uh, its matchup, Toxic by Britney Spears. Uh, Here that is. Baby, can't you see I'm calling A guy like you should wear a warning It's dangerous, I'm falling There's no escape, I can't wait I need a hit, baby, give me it You're dangerous, I'm dying Too
I was toxic by Britney Spears. Uh, so this is what rap versus pop. Mm. Intermarresting. Intermarresting indeed. Uh, so stop share here. Uh, Hannah. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. yeah. Can't. Three, two, one. Ooh. I'm pressed right now because these two. What more can I say about them? Is this the real championship round right here? Really? This is probably really? the real. I wish these two were at the end. Because mm -hmm. these are both like bad bitch anthems. You know? Like, uh, summer forever anthems. So, one hand you got Nikki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. And then one hand you got Britney. You also want to like choosing between your kids i get it hey we oh don't my have god kids, but I like, get it. who's your favorite <laughs> yeah. coin, and i i still wouldn't be happy with my decision right i'm waiting for you my I hands are clammy like, <laughs> i'm you might have to I'm just pick up a hat that. criteria i know who do you want to listen to a concert who do you want to listen to okay, again yeah let's think about this what song do you want to listen to again? You know, oh. Oh, I had to put you in the corner there and tell no. you choose one. Brittany, Brittany? she probably <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. I'm sorry, Nikki. God, I'm sorry, Nikki, but Brittany, I'm gonna have to stick with Brittany. Okay. You know, toxic. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You just you love being toxic, don't you? you know? mm -hmm. oh. okay. Okay. It's all okay. about the part. <laughs> it's that that little beat that does it for you. Okay. Right. Yeah. I get it. So uh okay. toxic one oh. Angelic, are you gonna break that? What you think? You know what? I I can't even go based off the song, so I'm gonna go off the artist. Okay. Right. Let's let's think this out. Let's talk this out. Yeah, my reasoning is I think I still know more Britney songs than I do Nicki Minaj songs. Mm. As weird as that is, but I'm also going to choose Britney. <gasps> oh, don't even, I'm not. I'm sorry, Nicki. We love you still. Sorry, Nicki. Sorry, Barb's all around the world. <laughs> yeah. Just don't come for us. Yeah. No, you're good. I don't think anyone can blame you. This is Britney's day right now. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, she might go all the way. Billy Ray's in the way, but we'll see about we'll see on this final round. So you're going Britney? I am going Britney. Yeah. Well, my words are words. I won't say it's a sweep because I will go with Nikki on this one. Ooh. I like Super Bass more than Toxic. I think I would listen to it more than Toxic on, on repeat. Like I said, Nikki was more of a supporting cast in her early songs, and I actually didn't really like her her additions to songs. Uh, I thought, you know, she honestly kind of ruined some of the songs, but her original work with this one and uh, a few of her other ones, shoot, escapes my mind, but I know, <laughs> I know there's... She has other good ones. For yeah, sure. she has yeah. other, like, yeah. original good ones by herself that are you know and, and they're good listens and uh I, I, frankly i know we talked about this last episode the feud the feud between her and cardi b i kind of i kind of like i kind of like nikki a little bit more than cardi b well, i agree i said yeah. it there it is too. Yeah. peter you need to add a little of um meg the stallion oh yeah you gotta switch it up we'll keep it on the download there i'll put that in my back pocket save it for a rainy day so thank you very much <laughs> yeah i, I think uh nikki Nikki does it on this song compared to Britney. Um, I don't know. This might not be my favorite Britney song. It is good. I do think it's distinct with that. Da, na, 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 but mm -hmm. I haven't voted for it yet. I don't know if I'll vote for it. <laughs> Maybe. I'll, let me let me get. Let's give it another <laughs> listen. Let's give it another listen, and uh, we'll see what my moods are saying at that point. So, two one, Britney versus Nikki. The showdown. I think I had this. With uh, Quinn's rehearsal run, and I think she went with uh, she went with Nikki. What are y'all oh, doing? Wow! Uh, yeah. She, I think she said she likes the message of it better. So I'm, I'm gonna say mm -hmm. I agree. 
uh, I would get in trouble if I don't agree. Isn't that right? Ladies? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but we're going to go toxic. We're toxic here in this episode. Uh, super bass can go uh, and do something with it. I can't think of a line. I'm a failure at life. I- <laughs> oh, come on, man. It's okay. What kind of host am I? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so uh, final round championship match. The matchup we've been waiting for. Aki Breaky Heart. Billy Ray Cyrus versus Toxic versus Britney uh, by Britney Spears. So is that country versus pop? I think this is the second episode, Hannah, where country has made it to the to the end. Oh, Will they yeah. get to the finish line? We'll see. I don't know. So uh, here's Achy Breaky Heart again by Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Mm. My Achy Breaky Heart. Mm. Gosh, good, good, good stuff. Versus Toxic by Britney Spears. And here that is. Baby, can't you see? was toxic <laughs> by britney spears oh uh, man it's gonna be a tough one i think for you guys i don't know we'll see it for all of us it's championship matches it should be it is a tough one so country versus pop Betty ray britney spears toxic achy breaky heart thoughts questions concerns angelica oh man okay I think we've said what we've had to to say about these two greats. Mm. Um, Billy Ray, once again, great song, very original to our upbringing. But kind of, I'm not going to say one hit wonder necessarily. But I think that's what determines the winner of this game for me. It's because uh Britney she she rolled them out she had tracks mm. on tracks Billy Ray what where was where were these tracks all time sorry, road right but like <laughs> how many years later you know um, well I older, guess Britney, the older the berry the sweeter the juice you're right you're right but I think that's what's gonna 
determined this game for me is that Britney kept going and they were all really great songs after that too. So Britney wins for me. Mm. Free Britney. We love you. Okay. okay. So Britney wins it for you because she's an artist and not song versus song. You're going not artist. Song. versus. Yeah, I'm, I am oh, going. Artist. You respect both songs. Okay. I, I do. But uh, artists and the criterion. So it's my turn. Um, so uh, toxic. Ah, distinct, distinct stuff. Um, not my favorite Britney song. I, I'll say that. Um, I'll say original one. You know, hit me, baby, one more time. That does it for me. Sorry to say. <laughs> um, but uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, make you break your heart. But you're right. I don't know many of Billy Ray Cyrus's stuff. And so his supporting role in Old Town Road with uh, Lil Nas. And he did good. And that's right. Wait, that wasn't even his... Yeah, yeah that wasn't even his right. So oh, one I hit wonder. I mean, you're just gonna low key slap Hannah Montana in the face like that. I mean, I didn't even no, watch Hannah Montana's Hannah Montana. Dad. Yeah, dad. <laughs> well, Not I'm Hannah sorry. <laughs> Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana don't exist without Billy Ray Cyrus. I mean and it doesn't yeah. exist probably without Achy Breaky Heart. So I guess. I I think I'm gonna go with Billy Ray. <laughs> Peter making it juicy in this house. Yes, juicy. I am. I like the juice. Um, Billy Ray makes it juicy with achy breaky heart. I mean, come on, let's get people in the line dance to end this episode. I'm I'm gonna go with achy breaky. Heart. I like I respect Britney and I respect her songs. I didn't vote for any time for Toxic, but I respect her and it's a it's a good song. But the matchup is going against. It's hard to say, you know. So, Hannah, just take it, take it out of her hands. Okay, I'm Rip not it. even gonna beat around the bush here. Say even it. if it's song versus song, it's gonna be Britney. It's gonna be toxic. Ooh, sorry, <laughs> Billy Ray. Mm-hmm. It's toxic. It's the dee 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 dee. all the way to the end. And. <laughs> I Ooh. <sighs> it's Britney's day today. It is, it's I literally guess. Britney, bitch. Like, you know, yeah. I, I guess the best of luck to her in her future. <laughs> yes, Good for her. I'm happy Be for happy her. Britney. Happy for her. Best of luck. We'll see how everything goes. Love her music. I think that's been established. Y'all, we all love her music. And yeah. really, in this episode, y'all love it extra. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're going to, I guess we're going to put it, put it official. We're going to we'll put it in the wind column. Woo, woo, woo. You know, breaking yeah. the glass ceiling. The first female <laughs> artist ran on music match play. It's Britney Spears. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, I tried. Yeah. Man, uh, the gender, whole gender of male race or <laughs> male gender. Male race. Male race. Exactly. Male gender. I, uh, I tried, guys. I'm overpowered. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> I did my best, uh, but I, I got to respect uh, Britney. Um, this is what it is. Britney Spears, Toxic, wins it. Before I end this episode, Angelica, you've been a fine guest. What do you have to say to end this episode? Last shout outs, last expression. Just let it all out. You want to oh, sing man. Toxic? Sing Toxic. Yeah. <laughs> no, this was awesome. I love this. Super happy to be here. Had a great time. The songs were great, Peter. Love the lineup. Keep this up, man. Um, really tough at the end. And I think that's what makes it juicy, mm-hmm. like we said. Um, glad that Britney came on top, you know, mm-hmm. as she deserves. Out of the list? Like, I, like I said, it's not always the best song doesn't win all the time. But is it the best song, you think? Yeah, okay. All right. Sure. I'm going to stick with so. it. I'm sticking yeah. with it. Yeah. But I guess shout out. Shout out to you guys. I miss you guys. Can't wait to see you when I see you. You're coming down. So are coming up. Side coming up. Sure. West. Whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. So I'm excited to see you and Hannah. I mean, whenever I'll see you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, shout out to 
to everybody watching. Okay. And um, yeah. All right. Super Would happy you, you, you want to be on this show again? Would you want to be co host? <gasps> oh, what? Whoa, I, whoa. Whoa. I just wow, got I was here. promoted oh, so quickly. Ryan lost his job already. Ryan. <laughs> I'm kind of digging the rotating co host, but I do like Ryan too. So I, I'm, I'm in a quagmire here. <laughs> Hannah, do you oh, have any yeah. any last things as co-host? Mm, nothing. This was really fun. I enjoyed all the songs that you chose this time around. I think um Brittany deserved it. Sure. And yeah. Okay. I'm happy with how things ended. All righty. Well said. I thought you were a good co-host. And uh you'll be back, sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, let me get that that one last screen look at uh, the winner, "Toxic" by Britney Spears. A pop song wins it second time for a pop, almost second time in a row. But uh, that's neither here nor there. It beats country, country. We tried, we do, we, we tried. Achy breaky heart, my achy breaky heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. But anyway, this is Britney's day. I'll leave it to her. "Toxic" by Britney Spears is the winner so play it background guys play play that song hit that track Mm -hmm. bye y'all love you christian baby can't you see i'm calling a guy like you should wear a warning